hi guys welcome back to my channel I have a very highly requested video today in my PR unboxing a while back you guys saw that I got the skinny dip collection from Jouer so I had a lot of requests to review and swatch the eyeshadow palette so today I'm going to be doing just that for the Jouer skinny dip ultra foil shimmer eyeshadow palette so if you guys are curious to hear my thoughts on this eyeshadow palette then just keep on watching So first off, I want to excuse my appearance. I'm just a little bit casual today because I'm not feeling the greatest. I am coming down with something, so hopefully it goes away soon so I can be on the top of my game. But I wanted to be glamorous for this video, but I just don't have it in me. But this is a very glamorous palette, and it also might blind you a few times throughout this video, so I'm sorry if that happens. This palette has six foiled eyeshadows in it. It's beautiful, thin packaging, and it costs $40. You can get a discount with some influencer codes. I don't have a code with Jouer just yet. I might have one in the future. I'm not quite sure, but I will leave some down below that you can use. Why not use a code? Don't just buy products for full price when you can get a discount and help other people out while doing so. So inside this palette you do get a very large and clear mirror but I don't want to blind you guys even more than I already am with the palette itself. It is a metallic gold palette which I think is really chic to have in your collection. I like the packaging a lot. I only have one other eyeshadow palette from Jouer and it's the Springtime in Paris eyeshadow palette and it's a plastic packaging. So I really do like this really pretty golden packaging and I like that there's a mirror. It doesn't look cheap or anything. So we have Starlight which is a silver, Bikini which is a really light pinkish rose gold color, Skinny Dip which is a beautiful gold champagne, Tan Lines is a darker bronze color, Magic Hour is like a pewter color, and then Midnight swim is like a darker bronze. So I guess tan lines actually has a little bit of like a golden undertone, bronzy golden, and then midnight swim is more like, I don't even know how to explain it. I really suck at explaining colors, but I guess it's like, I don't know, like a brownie bronze smoky color. So I actually do have bikini on my eyelid today. I don't know if you guys can tell because I do have glitter in my crease, but let me just show you guys really really blinding it's one of my favorite colors out of here and I keep on wearing it so I think bikini is my favorite first off I will say this is not going to be for everyone because I know there are a lot of people that prefer matte shadows and these are not matte shadows these are ultra foiled metallic eyeshadows so it's not a complete palette in my opinion no matter what you do you're gonna have to go in with a matte crease color or a transition color and this obviously is not a complete palette for someone's kit this is more along the lines of if you're a fan of glitter if you're a fan of very high pigment metallic eyeshadows for lid colors or just for experimenting inner corner colors things like that you're going to love this palette so keep that in mind it's I mean it's pretty obvious it's like common sense that it's not a full complete eyeshadow palette so I'm going to show you all of these swatched in a row so you guys can see just how much pigment they have it's kind of weird the texture of them some of them are super like brilliant on their own like starlight is the most foiled brilliant silver I've ever seen in a palette so if you've ever been looking for a blinding silver like a New Year's Eve color you're really going to love the starlight color so bikini has a little bit of chunkiness to it when I swatch it it definitely has a little bit of buildup but sometimes with extreme pigment you get that chunky kind of texture so it's different when it's applied with a brush but if you apply it with your finger you're going to get that chunky kind of texture but as you can see it's super blinding and that's kind of why so you have to give and take with certain aspects of eyeshadows like this but I don't mind the chunkiness at all because blend it out you can get rid of it it's just something that might be off-putting to some people it's just like the Jeffree Star skin frost a lot of people are like oh my god it's so chunky but you're using your finger to apply it if you're saying it's chunky because with a brush it's not so everything's different with a finger and with a brush skinny dip is another one like starlight it's just 
it's not chunky it's just like a beautiful metallic it's very smooth this one is a gold it, I swear it has a little bit of an olive undertone I'm really not good with colors and describing them it's a darker gold and I feel like this would really really complement certain eye colors especially I have hazel eyes I just think it's going to make hazel eyes really stand out like crazy but that is actually really really gorgeous and then tan lines I think is going to be my favorite for an all over the lid color it really reminds me of the Anastasia color self-made which reminds me of Kourtney Kardashian I don't know why I must have seen a picture of her wearing an eyeshadow color like this but it's like a dark bronze that has a little bit of a green undertone to it so there's what it looks like it's a very very pigmented again this one is like bikini it has a little bit more chunkiness to it but the pigment is unreal. All of these are pigmented in one swipe, and applying them with your finger will give you a very, very intense look. Other than using your finger, I would recommend using like a flat synthetic brush and getting the powder wet after you pick it up. So pick it up with the brush, spray your brush, and then apply it. You'll get more of a color payoff if you don't want to use your fingers, but I did tap on bikini with my finger today, and I like the way that it applies but like I said you might get a few chunks in there so if you want to blend away the chunks you can so magic hour again it's almost like they do every other every other but I don't think that midnight swim the last color is going to be chunky but magic hour is another one of those smooth colors it has no chunks in it oh my god magic hour is stunning you guys I'm swatching it for the first time here but like I'm gonna insert these swatches into the video so this is beautiful it has that beautiful pewter like taupey gray color to it but it also has so many glitters in it I'm probably like butchering the explanations of these but this one definitely has like a fine shimmer in its base so it's definitely foiled but underneath there there's like beautiful fine shimmers in there the last color in here is the midnight swim color that I'm not the greatest at describing but it's almost like it's almost like a smoke color so it's like a smoky gray brown and it has silver glitters in it so there it is right there on my arm it has silver flecks in it though so that would make a beautiful smoky eye but then up close or in the light you're gonna see that silver glitter honestly this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes that I've tried in a while it's just something different it's not your typical eyeshadow palette not your typical warm neutral that you keep on seeing going around so it has like a nice mixture it has the silver it has like a nice rosy pink it has some golds it definitely has like like olive undertones in the golds which I really really like and I think it's kind of hard to find golds that aren't super super warm toned I really like the olive color underneath them and then that pewter color what color is that magic hour is so so beautiful I know that my best friend would really 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 love that color so if you're wondering if I recommend this palette yes absolutely just it would be for the person who wants a beautiful standout lid color not for an entire look in one palette so hopefully that is helpful hopefully this video is helpful and I didn't leave anything out but if you do have any questions leave them for me down below and I will go ahead and answer as many as I can but I did want to give you guys a quick review of this palette I had a lot of questions about it I definitely recommend it I think it's absolutely stunning so if you guys liked this video then please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I put out new videos every single week and I love each and every one of you your support literally means the world to me and hopefully I will see you guys all in my next video bye